Very quickly, before we get into the video, I have a quick announcement for you guys. Making videos is a great opportunity for me to promote education. It's a unique opportunity to share information about other countries. Now, to make this even more fun, what I've done, I've created a quiz which will ask you questions about the content of this video. And this is where it gets exciting. If you score 100%, I need you to take a screenshot of your phone or your laptop and then send it to me and you will be entered into a draw and I will randomly pick one person and they will receive a prize. What I'm thinking is that I will call you for one hour, we can chat, get to know each other because I really want to meet some of my fans who appreciate my videos. Or, since I'm also an English teacher, I can teach you English for one hour. So they are the prizes. So please guys, listen carefully in the following video and once you have finished the video, make your way down to the description below and follow the link to the quiz. Okay guys, good luck and enjoy the video. Peace. Today in Bishkek, you can expect periods of light drizzle. The English translation is very, very simple indeed. In English, it means five fingers. I am looking for the Besh Bamak. Bamak. Oh, okay. Damdu? Damdu, Cookies, cookies, tamak. I want to explain to you guys one of the reasons I love to wear the national dress. Okay guys, I'm going to teach you a new idiom, a new saying, which is commonly used in England. I wish you was all here with me right now so you can smell how delicious this sauce is. Wow, look at those noodles, they're so long. Because Big Ayim has touched my heart right now. She has offered to pay for my meal. Good afternoon, beautiful people. This is Smiling Around the Globe, reporting to you live from Bishkek once again. Today, as I woke up and I looked out of the window, I could have plausibly time traveled back to the UK. I say this because of one thing and one thing only, and that is the weather. If I was a weatherman, my description of the weather today in Bishkek would go something like this. Today in Bishkek, you can expect periods of light drizzle with a grey, ominous looking, overcast sky. Before you leave your house this morning, an umbrella is essential. People must be thinking, what the hell is this guy talking about? With the weather being so glum, it makes complete sense. Thank you, Bretton. <laughs> It makes complete sense to do a food related video today and I'm definitely not going to complain. The meal that I'm seeking out today is none other than the national dish of not only Kyrgyzstan but also Kazakhstan which is called Besh Bamak. It's a heavy heavy dish rich in meat with some pasta thrown in there as well for good measure. Any opportunity I have to try the national food of a particular country is an opportunity that I cherish. With that being said, I'm very excited to try the Vesh Bamak. Imbued into this special meal is a lot of history and culture. But let's leave that history lesson until later. First of all, I want to tell you the English translation for Besh Bamak. The English translation is very, very simple indeed. In English, it means five fingers. The name itself is very self-explanatory. The reason it's called five fingers is because, any guesses? It is, of course, because you should eat it, traditionally speaking, at least with five fingers. I know what you might be thinking, guys. Just in case anybody's confused about this name, here in Kyrgyzstan, there is no difference between the thumb and the fingers. So actually, the thumb is considered a finger as well. Hence the name, Five Fingers. Back on with the video. I'm going to try my luck with interacting with a complete stranger and asking them to describe Besh by Mac to me as someone who has never tried it before. I have made one new dust. Assalamu alaikum bratan. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, hello. Ah, uh, baiki, baiki. Kadaisis, how are you? Dobli How are you? Okay. Right now, my friend, my dust, I am looking for the Besh Barmak. Besh Barmak. Oh, okay. Damdu? Damdu, damdu. Kyrgyz, Kyrgyz tamak. It's strong, like this. <laughs> you could be <laughs> UFC. Yes, 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 UFC. Uh, Conor McGregor. <laughs> Habib, Habib. <laughs> Oh, Conor McGregor, okay. Conor McGregor is Chong Atta. Oh. Conor McGregor, old man now. Finish, no more, no more. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Bratan, can you explain how the Besh Bakan delicious? Yeah. Fukusna? Fukusna, what's your name? Damdu? Damdu, Damdu. Oh, nice. Okay, my okay, friends, have you, a nice thank day. You, thank, you. thank you so much. Okay. Gurushubas, thank you, Bratan. <laughs> 
Okay, they said it's delicious. That's good enough for me. I want to explain to you guys one of the reasons I love to wear the national dress. As, as you can see on top of my head, I have the culturally significant Kalpak, the national hat of Kyrgyzstan. And here, keeping me nice and warm on this rather cold day, is my Japan, my beloved Japan, which I love very much. And this is the national dress of Uzbekistan. <laughs> but what's really amazing about wearing the national dress of whichever country you find yourself in, is that it makes having spontaneous and random interactions with the local people much, much easier. When they see you wearing the national hats, for example, you know they appreciate that. They appreciate you for embracing their culture. And at the same time, I love to embrace the local culture. I think it's super, super fun. This, in my humble opinion, is the best way to travel. No offense to the people of Bishkek, but I have to make an observation. The city definitely looks more beautiful when the sun is shining, rather than on a gray overcast day. The restaurant that I've chosen for today's video is called Cafe Pfizer. And as you can see on Google, it has an average rating of 4.5 stars out of 5, over 5,000 reviews. I would say that's pretty consistent. What I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for a Besh Bar Mac like you. If you let me eat you now, that will be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will eat you. Whoa! Assalamu alaikum! Woo! Even though I've eaten very little today, I've still made the decision to walk to this restaurant even though it's four kilometers away. And there's a very simple reason for this. It's because when I'm walking, I get to see so many new things for the very first time. And that for me is exciting. The darkness is quickly prevailing. So I apologize if the video quality goes down. Stay with me. I'm nearly at the restaurant. Okay guys, I'm going to teach you a new idiom, a new saying, which is commonly used in England. Right now, I'm going to describe myself as out in the sticks. Out in the sticks basically means a long way from the city center. My God, just look at this. Where is this restaurant? <laughs> I think I'm at the right restaurant. I'm at a restaurant. The name is in Russian. But judging by how many people are entering and also judging by how many people are, seem to be queuing for a table, it seems like we're at the correct place. Okay, let's go inside. I'm only one person. Surely they have room for me. Okay, in we go. Hello, AJ. Salamu alaikum, Kadaisis. I am here to try the Besh Bamak. Do you have? No, we don't have it. Oh, no. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Are you AJ or Karin Dash? I think you are Karin Dash, little sister. Yes. Yes, I am Baiki. Uh, Karin Dash? Maybe you are working here. Maybe you can recommend which one. Which one is the most dandu? Which one most popular? I will take one of those. Okay. Saranich and Chong. Big. And a Chong Rahmat. Rahmat. And what is your name? Had Had Upa. No. Nadira. Nadira. Had H A? Ah, okay. I'm sorry. Guys, this serves me completely right for doing absolutely no research. Since this is a traditional restaurant, I just went ahead and assumed they had the famous Beshbarmak, but it turns out they don't. So instead, I've ordered what's called Lakman. Lakman I've had many times before, but maybe you guys watching at home have never heard of this meal and never seen it. I've only got a little bit of energy left in my reserves. But very quickly, I'm going to run over a couple of facts about this interesting meal, Lakman. Oh, Lakman. 
one? Okay. Hello, AJ. Okay. Perfect. Yes, I know, I know. <laughs> and here it is, guys, the Lachman. I didn't have time to tell you some facts about it, so let me just enjoy it and then I will give you a little bit of education about this. So, let me quickly talk you through the ingredients used. You've got obviously pasta, but this is no ordinary pasta as I will explain later. Meat, primarily beef, and some delicious vegetables. Perhaps my favorite part is actually the sauce. I wish you was all here with me right now so you can smell how delicious this sauce is. How I can describe it is basically a soup with noodles, with meat and vegetables. I think the best thing that complements soup is some delicious bread. So I forgot to order some, so I will order some now. Traditionally speaking, when you are eating the lakman, I have to use my arch enemy. Chopsticks. Something that over time I'm beginning to become more acquainted with. However, I still suck at using them, but I'm going to do my best. <laughs> Why it's good for me to use chopsticks is because if I use a spoon and a fork, I will eat the lakman too quickly. But at least with chopsticks, I don't have that option because I cannot use them very well. <laughs> wow, look at those noodles, they're so long. Okay, that should be enough. Before I ordered, I actually asked the nice lady serving me which meal is the most popular meal on the menu and this is the one that she recommended and I can see why after trying it next I want to take a moment to break down what exactly Lachman is I'm going to explain to the best of my ability the different parts that make up this amazing meal it's only right that we start with the noodles this particular style of noodles is otherwise known as lamian, which is a Chinese word, and in English this means pulled noodles. The process by which these noodles are created is very interesting indeed. It is a multi-stage process which includes twisting the noodles, stretching them, and then lastly folding them. And this results in the noodles being extremely long and also very thick, not to mention delicious. The next component of a successful and delicious lakman dish is the meat. Traditionally, the meat will either be either beef or lamb. Today, I believe it's beef, and the meat is typically fried. Mm. Whilst I've been sat here enjoying my meal, I've made a new friend. Her name is Bigayim, and she is local. Hello, Big. Big, Big. <laughs> Your name difficult for me. Okay, let's do that again. <laughs> I'm destroying everything. Her name is Bigayim and she is from the beautiful Bishkek. Yeah. We've had a great conversation. She speaks amazing English. She has told me an amazing place which I'm going to visit tomorrow and somewhere where I can finally find the elusive and mysterious dish Beshbamak. I just want to take a moment as well just to say a big thank you because Bigayim has touch my heart right now. She has offered to pay for my meal. I don't want her to, but I don't think it's up for debate. Thank you, Big Ayim, that's very kind. You're, you're, you're amazing. I told her if she visits England in the future, I will pay for her meal. What a lovely, lovely woman. Let's have a round of applause for my awesome new friend. Such a touching and genuine interaction. Not only has she treated me to this amazing meal, which by the way, she ordered me a sumsa. My new friend also gave me some awesome recommendations on what to do with my time while I'm here in Bishkek. Maybe my favorite part about eating the lakman is getting some nice soft bread and dipping it in the delicious sauce and watching the bread soak it up like a sponge. Mm. I came and I conquered the Lachman. Now it's time to enjoy delicious looking Sumsa. What I'm about to do is highly dangerous and I don't recommend any of you guys trying to do this at home. Otherwise it could cause you bodily harm. I'm going to rip open this Sumsa using my bare hands. Here we go. <laughs> no, it's okay. I want to show you what's hiding on the inside. You have this amazing 
amazing cooked meat with some onions. Mm. The casing of the samsa itself is nice and soft, a little bit flaky. Oh, a little piece of meat tried to escape. A full scot is a happy scot. And that definitely rings true right now. The lakma and the samsa are both finished and I cannot emphasize enough how delicious both of them were. I'm proud of you guys. You made it to the end of the video. And I will even admit that was a long video. I appreciate you for watching all of it. From now on, I'm going to set myself the quite ambitious target of uploading a new video every single day. If you appreciate my efforts, can I suggest you consider supporting me on my Patreon page? The link for which is in the description below. Think of it as buying me a meal every month. Until next time, goodbye and have a fantastic day. I love you.